Heart failure is a condition in which the heart is unable to pump blood adequately to meet the metabolic demand of the body tissues. It is mainly caused by heart muscle or myocardial failure, but may also occur in the presence of normal or near-normal heart function under conditions of high demand, such as vigorous exercise. In this video, our main goal is to explore the common signs and symptoms of heart failure. Heart failure can be broadly categorized as acute heart failure and chronic heart failure. Causes of chronic heart failure include the following. Myocardial infarction or heart attack. Diabetes mellitus. Hypertension or high blood pressure. Valvular heart disease. Cardiac arrhythmias. Infection of the heart muscle, also called myocarditis. Cardiomyopathies. Congenital heart diseases. Drugs such as cocaine and doxorubicin, alcohol, and constrictive pericarditis. Causes of acute heart failure include the following. Acute valvular regurgitation, myocardial infarction, myocarditis, cardiac arrhythmias, drugs such as cocaine, calcium channel blockers, and beta blockers, and sepsis. Sometimes, heart failure can occur in the setting of high cardiac output. This is called high-output heart failure. It can be caused by anemia, systemic arteriovenous fistulae, hyperthyroidism, Paget's disease of bone, multiple myeloma, pregnancy, glomerulonephritis, and polycythemia vera. Sometimes, only the right side of the heart can be failed. Causes of right heart failure include the following. Left ventricular failure, right-sided myocardial infarctions, pulmonary hypertension, pulmonary valve stenosis, pulmonary embolism, chronic pulmonary diseases, and neuromuscular disorders. Now let's discuss the signs and symptoms of heart failure. Progressive dyspnea, or shortness of breath, is a cardinal symptom in left ventricular failure. Initially, it occurs during exertion and gradually progresses into orthopnea, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, dyspnea at rest, and acute pulmonary edema. Patients may also experience chest pain or pressure and palpitations. Other signs and symptoms may include fatigue and weakness due to poor perfusion of skeletal muscles, nocturia and oliguria. Neurological symptoms such as confusion, memory impairment, anxiety, headache, difficulty sleeping, and rarely psychosis, delirium, and hallucinations. Physical examination findings include the following. Chronic, marked elevation of systemic venous pressure can cause exophthalmos and tricuspid regurgitation. Pulse may be weak, thready, and rapid. In severe heart failure, patients will have central cyanosis and icterus, jugular venous distension and bilateral ankle edema, ascites in advanced disease, rails over lung bases due to pulmonary edema, hepatomegaly in chronic right heart failure, fever in severe decompensated heart failure due to cutaneous vasoconstriction, tachycardia, pallor, and diaphoresis due to increased adrenergic activity.